Some Very people nice. are really hungry, it would seem. I can't eat. <laughs> everyone so welcome to today's vlog with the real McNeils our house looks so dark it is actually hot outside today and so we've got most of the blinds closed to try and keep it cool enough in here that it's not scorching tonight so far it's pretty good but you go outside and it's super bright and then you come in the house and it's so dark that you can barely see what are you girls up to um playing I woke up today to a new vlog going up and when I opened it up I realized that there was no thumbnail on it. It had just randomly chosen whatever thumbnail. So I fixed that one. That is the drive through zoo vlog. So if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. The kids and I went for a day trip out to a drive through zoo and saw lots of really fun animals. It was pretty exciting and they really enjoyed it. So if you can, go check that one out. I will link it in the description box or up above here where you can just click on the link and get to it. All the girls are asking for a smoothie. They're out jumping on the trampoline. It's hard to find good light in here with the amount of curtains closed. Smoothie time. Frozen banana, frozen mixed berries. We really like this Kirkland blend for smoothies. I don't especially like it just for eating. Some of them really taste like dirt. And then all of the yogurts that the kids haven't eaten. The girls were laughing because they came in and there was bread and cheese beside the blender so they were saying that they're getting a bread and cheese smoothie. But we'll make plenty of smoothie because of the fact that we can turn it into popsicles. Last time I did a good squirt of lemon juice because it cuts the sweetness and the kids really liked it that way. So we're gonna do it that way this time. Oh, oh good. Now you don't have to yell anymore. <laughs> How is it? Did a good one? Yeah, I can't finish it. You can't? No. Or are you just in a hurry to go play? I want to play and go play. A few moments later. What happened to your ear? It got scraped on the hose that's sticking up outside. Oh, I'm sorry. Turn your head so I can see it. See how red it is? And she has like a white mark there. Yeah, maybe it's the paint. Maybe it's the paint? Yeah. And maybe that's what is eating it so much. I'm sorry. She's okay now and off she goes. <laughs> Fine cuisine. Some people are really hungry, it would seem. I can't eat. <laughs> nice. We are done our bike ride. Time for a little popcorn snack before bed. And Addie's finding a show to watch. Tiggy is playing some game time. So is Kato. Not sure where he went. And I can hear things happening out here. Hansi is playing with his new toy from his birthday. He was pressure washing his bike, but it looks like he's done now. This one has been in bed for quite a while. This one's just going to bed and nobody is asleep. It's a warm summer night. We were just discussing how this is not working. It's too hot at night. They have a beautiful fan up here, but it only helps if you're out from underneath of it. So tomorrow we need to move the fireplace these shelves and this and rearrange this room which I might add looks like oh, we can just put that in it has been ransacked 
Look at all of this stuff. These so we need to tidy all of this up, rearrange a little, and get this mattress Our out. And their dolls did some of it. No, our dolls did it. Summer bedtime schedule is kind of messed up. I keep getting them to bed close to the right time, but the reality is that they're not going to sleep. You can hear the neighbor kids hooting and hollering and carrying on out there. It's kind of funny. Thankfully, the girls are on the front of the house and all the noise is coming from the back of the house, so they don't hear it quite as much. So I was going to mention, I found something that works quite well for TIG. It's by Sage. I don't know if this is American and Canadian. I actually have no idea, but they do essential oil type products. They do one that's really good for allergies that uh, Clancy's sister and dad use because they're really, really allergic to cocoa and they don't have to take an, any allergy meds at all. So I bought some of those for Clancy. I'll show this to you in a minute, but this is the one that I'm using for Tegan and it's called Sleep Well. It's one that I also use because I find that it helps me to go to sleep. It has valerian root in it, which is a nice way to kind of promote sleep and to help you rest. Although they're just goofing around in there and I don't think they're going to sleep anytime soon anyway. Sniff it. Tell me what you think. I don't feel. Show me. Is it terrible? <laughs> Tiggy didn't like it at first, but now she does. All right, girls. Good night. I love you. Wait, wait, wait. Good night, I love you. Wait. No, wait. Wait, please. <laughs> what? I never got a hug from Daddy. I told him. He'll come and check on you in a bit. <laughs> Good night, I love you. I he will come and snack. check on you. <laughs> you guys have popcorn. Oh, my Need goodness. Oh, my goodness. Good no, night. So long. Farewell. What I got for Clancy is called Allergy Release. It's just a roller ball and you just roll it on your wrists, maybe up by your face if that's where you're reacting. And it totally works. It's not focused on that, it's focused on me, but it works really, really well. We're gonna try it on Clancy and see how he does. I also bought my first diffuser and I've opened it, but our water here is really, really hard. So I won't be using it until I buy some distilled water. This is what it looks like. Plus I bought their home pharmacy remedy bar, which includes peppermint halo, immune, eater's digest for your stomach, stress release, and pain release. Kieran's back is actually really bad. He pulled something in his hip. I've shown him a stretch to do that he's been doing and it really has been helping, but I just realized that there's no reason why we can't use this pain release. So I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna give it a go. Some days are just ordinary and today was kind of one of those days. You see those boxes? A couple of vlogs ago we talked about building a castle for the girls in their room, but then my parents came so we never quite got to the castle building. We'll see if that happens this weekend. So we basically didn't do a lot today. The bike ride was really fun. We were out there for a long time. Clancy never told me how far we went, but I have a feeling it was around 10 kilometers with the girls which makes me really happy because Addie is quite an avid little bike rider and Tegan is fantastic. So it means that we're able to get out and go bike riding and that means that we should kind of book our camping spots around being able to go bike riding and stuff like that because we love it. I do need to get a mountain bike still. If you have a mountain bike that you love, comment down below, good women's mountain bike, because I would love to get one. I need to go and start that process. I'll take you guys along with me. I'm not vlogging quite as much as I was before. I'm trying to make sure that what we've got going on is interesting and relevant and worthwhile vlogging so that I don't waste your time. We're hoping to see family this weekend. Riley and Cecily have some pretty exciting news that they want to share and come out and know I'm not going to be a grandma yet. <laughs> So hopefully they come out and we can show you what their exciting news is. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you haven't, please hit that like button, give us the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and make sure that you've turned on that bell notification so that you are notified when we get new vlogs posted. Can't even talk. It's definitely time for bed. Good night, guys.